Hello, welcome to episode zero of this C Sharp game development tutorial series. Uh, today, we are going to be going through setting up our development environment. And we're also going to be talking a bit about uh, what we're going to be using and why. Uh, so this is targeting uh, people that want to make games in C Sharp, but maybe don't want to use something like Unity. Uh, with the recent news with uh, Unity basically backstabbing all of its users, uh, even though they backtracked it, this is the fact that they're able to do something like that and that they were going to try to get away with it um, would put a lot of people, you know, uh, not really with a good taste in their mouth after that. Um, so it's very understandable to want to switch to something else. And so one of the routes you can go is Monogame. Uh, Monogame is not a game engine, it's a game framework. So you'll be writing basically everything for your game in code. Um, it's a bit of a different approach than what you're traditionally used to, but it can be really fun and a lot of learning experience. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, so the way that you use Monogame is um, pretty simple. You don't have to download anything. All you have to do is get Visual Studio if you don't already have it already. Uh, Visual Studio is just a code editor of, um, in IDE. And given that this tutorial is targeted a little bit more at slightly intermediate programmers, then I would assume that you would have it. Um, but it would be the best. If you don't have it, then go ahead and get it. Visual Studio 2022 is what I'm going to be using. Once you have it, just go ahead and open it. Once you open up Visual Studio 2022, you want to do continue without code here. Um, and you'll see this blank page here and you want to go up to extensions and manage extensions. Here, we're going to go into the online section and then go search and look up Monogame. And what you should see is this Monogame Framework C Sharp Project Templates. If you don't have this, I found that in some of the older versions of Visual Studio, I couldn't find it for whatever reason. Uh, so if you want to upgrade your Visual Studio version, and it should um, be fine. If not, there is um, some forums on Monogame's page for this type of issue, so I would check those out. And then once you do this, all you got to do is click install. It would be here if I didn't already install it. So yeah, just click that, and then what you have to do is simply close Visual Studio, and then you should see this thing pop up. There's a there's a little pop up that will prompt you to modify Visual Studio. And this is just going to add the templates to your Visual Studio application. Now, what you do is you reopen Visual Studio 2022, and when you click create a new project, um, you should see the Mono Game templates right here. If you don't, then you can search for it. You can do Mono here, um, search and you should see um, all these monogame templates pop up here. And here you can look through them and pick which one you want. I'm going to be doing a um, desktop application. So I'm going to do monogame cross-platform desktop application. Does it really matter a ton? Not really, this, this is more of the basics. So we're not gonna get hugely into platform dependent stuff. Uh, but yeah, just go ahead and click on it, click next. Now just choose a location for your project to be in. We'll just select that folder. And let's just say YouTube, YouTube tutorial is my name. Very original. Okay, and then just click create here and it should create your Visual Studio project. And what's really nice is Visual Studio is so well made for C Sharp development. Um, we can use things like templates like this and you're just ready to go. There, there's no other setup required. Um, you can just double click on game one and you can see all this stuff here. You can press F5. And it'll take a little bit of a second uh, because it's your first time building the project. Um, but you should see that a window pops up um, and it actually names it the same as whatever you name your project, which is pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, there's just a simple window. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and explore some things here. The first thing is the entry point, which is this program.cs. What you'll see is you're creating a, um, a game object. It's a game one object and just doing this game.run. And what this is doing is it's actually... Uh, taking this and creating an instance of game one here, which is this. This is the game class. So here you'll see we have a constructor here. We have an initialize here. Um, we have a load content and update and a draw. And they have these convenient comments here uh, that make it a little bit easier for first time users. And so it's a really, really nice experience to be able to just load up your template and be ready to go. There's a couple more things here. Um, there's an icon, there's all that stuff. Don't worry about that too much, but look at this content folder. If we open it up, you should see that there's an um, object folder here and there is a content.mgcb file here. And the one that we are, care about is the content.mgcb. And as of recording this video, content.mgcb, which is the um, content manager for Monogame, is a little bit messed up for Visual Studio. 
Uh, so for me personally, I don't have a logo here at all. It just doesn't show up. And when I double click on this, you see this catastrophic failure warning. However, mine does start up. Although when I first tried this, um, the startup did not work at all and there is a way to fix it. So what you do is you want to open up your terminal with control backtick and then you basically uh, here, what you want to do is just uh, CD into the um, uh, change directory into the YouTube tutorial or whatever you called here. So mine is YouTube tutorial. That's the name of my project. CD into that. And then what you want to do is do .NET tool restore. And then it should do a bunch of restoring stuff. And now you could do something like um, .NET MGCB editor with a dash there and it opens it up. However, mine is grayed out when I do this for whatever reason. So honestly, you can just double click it here. It will give you this cache of failure. However, at least in my experience, it does open up still. Just close out of this error and that's that's it. It is a Visual Studio problem, not a monogame problem. It should be fixed very shortly, maybe even by the time that this uh, series gains any traction. So yeah, don't worry about that too much. Okay, so with that being said, that's pretty much everything that's going on here. So that's the end of the setup video, episode zero. In the next video, we will do stuff like loading an image and drawing it on the screen. Uh, so yeah, thank you very much for watching. Have a good day. See ya.